Today is Sunday, February 2nd, 2020. And I would like to talk a little about a subject that is not as pleasing as we might like, but it has to do with people who find out that they are dying early in life, maybe in the middle of their life, when life is starting to be very appealing, comforting, relaxing. And they find out, for example, that they have some illness or sickness which the doctors are not able to cure but may extend their life for a few years. Often happens with patients who are dying of cancer. It's not uncommon these days. So let's take an example of somebody in this condition who is now realizing that he may only have two or three, five years to live. And they realize, I really haven't started to live yet. I feel like I'm just beginning. And it can be very trying, very tough time of life. But not necessarily should it be a sad time. If you put it in perspective, in regards to what is the purpose of my life, go back to our favorite chapter in the Catechism. Why did God make me? To show forth His goodness and to share with me His everlasting happiness in heaven. Those are the purposes of life. And when those purposes, those objectives of life are faced and the reality of them starts to develop in our particular circumstances, it's difficult if we have not prepared well for those moments. If our life is not in accord with them, from the beginning or from many years after a conversion. These difficulties are understandable from a natural point of view. And even if we correspond with God's graces that he is sending at these times, and we realize that this point in life and these what we might consider or many might consider unfortunate circumstances of our life are actually some of the greatest graces that God is sending us for our sanctification, for our salvation. To at this point to realize that I will now, I am now in a more direct way more closely working out my salvation. I may soon, within a few short years, I may die and go to heaven if I correspond. God has given me a great grace to realize that my end is near that the purpose of my life is ready to be accomplished, that I might glorify Him in my life, in my suffering, and in my death. And then He will, for eternity, reward me for the gift of myself in time. The gift of myself. To give oneself. This does not mean 
that nature does not rebel. It will, but that is part of where the reward comes from, the sanctification comes from. If it were simple and easy, and death were a passage without suffering, we'd all look forward to it in a more natural way. But this fulfills in a particular way the first part of that question of the first chapter of the Catechism. Why did God make me? To show forth His goodness. So God in His goodness is now about He is now about to give me and is giving me the graces that I, if I respond to, will glorify Him that I can overcome my fallen nature, my propensity to sadness in the face of suffering, in the face of death, that I can now give myself by His grace, by His grace alone. This is what glorifies Him. This is what gives glory to God before all the saints, before the angels, before all men, that God would take a creature weak as I and allow me to glorify him through my acceptance, my patient acceptance and resignation to his most holy will. And then the second half, in a short time, in the second half of that question, why did God make me to show forth his goodness? And second, to share with him his everlasting happiness in heaven. This second half will then be realized, but it demands the first, that we show forth God's goodness by accepting his holy will, by resignation, by loving acceptance, as Christ took up his cross and said to us, how distraught I am, he said, until my baptism is accomplished, meaning his passion and death on the cross. Until that would be accomplished, he was disturbed. He wanted it to be accomplished because it was his Father's will. So with us, we accept God's holy will in advance to the death that he wants to send us with all its sufferings and griefs and all its sorrow, whenever he so desires. So any young man who sees himself facing this difficulty should meditate and pray, ask God for his strength, courage, fortitude, the gift of hope that soon very soon, maybe, I will be in heaven. And one of the beautiful things about it is realizing that helps that soul to realize how worthless, in a sense, are all the goods of the earth which I have spent years trying to accumulate, to make my life good, especially at the end, as we all try to do. Prudently, yes, we should prudently. But when you realize in a short time they will not be able to help you or be of any comfort to you or service, it's easy then to look at them and to realize how foolish I have been to place my trust in them, to rejoice in them, when well, now I'm going to leave them all. And finally, I will be united with God in eternity. How can I be sad when all this good can be accomplished and God has given me the grace, the wonderful, the tremendous grace of helping me to realize that he wants me to begin the end of my journey and that he will help me through the sacraments, 
through prayer, through the consolations of his church, through the saints, my guardian angel, and those whom I have loved on earth who will pray for me and help me and try to make all things comfortable and pleasant as I give myself to the God who created me for this one purpose. And so, if there are any young men or young ladies in this condition, they should not be sad. With a human, from a human perspective, there will be sadness, suffering, leaving those behind whom you love. That brings a natural sadness, yes, but to rise above it and to understand in all of this and despite all the suffering, this is a great grace and should bring a supernatural joy to my soul. The joy that is supernatural can exist with a natural sorrow, with a natural suffering, because you will know that through your suffering and through your death, for example, how many might you, by your generosity, how many might you bring to the paradise of heaven because of your generosity? So some man or some young lady someday might come to you in heaven and falling at your feet for all eternity, in a manner speaking, express gratitude and a heartfelt loving thanks for what you have done because of your generosity because of the gifts and the special graces that God has given you to help not only yourself, not only to glorify God and the saints, but to save us all, who otherwise would not have been saved. Thank you for coming.